Before we get any further into the final quarter of 2019, we flash back to some of the best of high desert sports from this time of year, 2018, into the first half of the good year, 2019. Top sports story of 2018, Atlanta Saints football. First year coach Gali Wadud guides his Saints to the CIF Division 13 championship. Atlanta High School Football, the high desert's biggest sports success story of 2018. The Saints, CIF Division 13 champions. Coach Gully Wadud elevates the Saints program from cellar dwellers to the penthouse. CIF champions winning the title game on the road 20-15 against Orange Vista. Marshawn Buchanan, shown here against Silverado, running a 78-yard touchdown to open the scoring in the championship game. The 5'10", 185-pound running back scored eight touchdowns in the postseason, rushing for over 500 yards in the four CIF victories. Marshawn Buchanan surpassing 2,000 yards rushing in this his junior season. Angel Ochoa, the completion to Josiah Stokes here, connected in similar manner for 57 yards to set up the Saints' second touchdown in the title game. Both quarterback Angel Ochoa and running back Josiah Stokes, also juniors. What factors have turned the Saints' program around? Um, belief, confidence. I can just get the kids to continue to believe in themselves and the program will continue to turn around, so it's all certainly noteworthy among 2018 football developments, Silverado coach Rafael Genorio has announced the past season is his last at the Hawks' helm. Rafael Genorio was the longest tenured high school head football coach in the high desert, seven seasons at Silverado. Rafael Genorio guided his Hawks to the school's first CIF championship game, that was 2016, his Hawks, champions of the Desert Sky League four times. Donations have been confirmed for two of the High Desert's best of 2018, whose postseason accolades include All Inland Empire, Oak Hills offensive lineman Jason Rodriguez, and Apple Valley quarterback Jeff Widener, named to the San Bernardino Sun Telegram All Inland Empire team. Rodriguez and Widener, both first team selections on offense. The 6'7", 330-pound Jason Rodriguez anchored Coach Robert Kistner's O-line, leading the Bulldogs to the 2018 Mojave River League Championship. He is bound for USC. He is a body armor high school All-American and will play in the All-American All-Star Game in Florida in January. Jeff Widener has accepted a full ride to Northern Arizona University the Mojave River League Offensive Player of the Year. The 6'2 2.5", 200-pound Jeff Widener throws 53 scoring passes his senior season. Jeff Widener's record-shattering career concludes with an incredible 88 touchdown passes. Career passing yardage, 5,781 yards. Four High Desert players are second team selections to Keel Obana, Silverado's All-DSL Defensive Player of the Year. To Keel Obana, 42 tackles for a loss his senior year. Atalanto junior running back Marshawn Buchanan receives second team honors. Marshawn Buchanan leads all High Desert ball carriers with over 2,000 rushing yards. 2,068 and counting after winning the CIF Division 13 championship. Apple Valley senior Xander Witt, second team All Inland Empire. The 5'11", 180 pound wide receiver caught a school record 69 passes in 2018, 20 for touchdowns. Among the five Bulldogs named All Inland Empire, 6'3", 305 pound Nofoafia Tulafono, 77, will be back in 2019 as Oak Hill seeks to defend its MRL crown. Senior running back Martinique Finn followed the blocking of Jason Rodriguez, Nofoafia Tulafono, and 73, David Ibarra, rushing for 1,436 yards and scored 16 touchdowns. The 6'5", 312-pound David Ibarra named to the All Inland Empire squad. 
as is SACS leader Ben Coffer, the 6'1", 235-pound senior defensive end. Silverado leading ground gainer Nicholas Reed Casey is a second member of the DSL champion Hawks named All Inland Empire. Nick Reed Casey carried for just under 1,100 yards and scored 19 touchdowns his senior season. Atalanto tackles leader Josiah Stokes joins running back Marshawn Buchanan among Saints standouts returning in 2019 after winning the CIF Division 13 championship. Josiah Stokes 12 touchdown receptions, 8 rushing touchdowns, 2 kick returns for touchdowns, and one more scoring effort on a scoop and score fumble recovery. Granite Hills running back and leading ground gainer Tayshawn Brown is recognized by the Sun-Telegram sports writers. The 5'8", 180-pound powerhouse running back rushed for 1,617 yards and scored 21 touchdowns, 18 of them rushing. Apple Valley senior linebacker Jesse Griggs completes the list of three Sun Devils named All Inland Empire. The six foot, 205 pound Jesse Griggs led the Sun Devils in tackles with 111, 28 of them solo tackles, 16 of his stops tackles for a loss. Hesperia Christian, two way starter and leading ground gainer Jeremiah Ferdu is named to the All Inland Empire squad. Jeremiah Ferdu helped lead the Patriots to the CIF eight man Division II title game. These 14 High Desert players certainly represent the best of the best of 2018. One of our area's best among 2016 All-Stars will play next at the University of California, Berkeley. Silverado graduate, wide receiver, Travon Clark chose Cal over offers from UCLA, Oregon State, Iowa State, and Kansas. 6'2 and 180 at Silverado, Trevon Clark caught 63 passes for 1,270 yards and 20 touchdowns his 2016 senior season a Hawk. He was all Desert Sky League on both offense and defense. Now 6'4 and 185, Trevon Clark excelled at El Camino College the last two years, catching 20 scoring passes he is ranked among the three top junior college wide receivers in the nation from future Pac-12 players we go to eight-man football's all agape league best of 2018 agape league champions Hesperia Christian dominates 2018 all agape league football selections six players led by offensive player of the year Jeremiah Ferdu and defensive player of the year Hunter Dobbins Jeremiah Ferdu the dynamite comes in a small package running back scored 50 touchdowns Jeremiah Ferdu carried for 1635 yards he averaged 12 and a half yards per carry. First team all Agape League honors on offense go to lineman Richard Elmendorf, 55, the 6'3", 205-pound junior, recovers the fumble on this play in the CIF eight-man Division II title game. The third Patriots standout first team all leaguer on offense, senior running back David Huff, 24. David Huff is 6'2", 190. As an offensive player, David Huff's effectiveness as a blocking back just as vital to the Patriots' offensive success as his ball-carrying and pass-catching abilities. Agape League Defensive Player of the Year linebacker Hunter Dobbins, 32. Patriots' leading tackler on the year with 11 tackles a game and another two-way starter we'll showcase more with offensive highlights from his quarterback position. The 6'2", 190-pound senior signal caller, the Patriots' leader on the field on both sides of the ball, directing his team to the Agape League Championship and into the CIF Championship Final. Nick Williams, 43, is another repeat selection. The 6'5", 215-pound offensive and defensive lineman right behind Hunter Dobbins and Braden Hampton in total tackles on the Patriots in 2018. Braden Hampton, 
for the third Patriot, a repeat selection, first team all Agape League, Braden Hampton, a six foot 165 pound linebacker. The remainder of the 2018 all Agape League team, the CERN Valley quarterback, Isaiah Hernandez, Academy of Careers and Exploration, senior running back, Cody Farron, and junior running back, Lawrence Jointer, Sage Oaks, Josiah Neos, Ace defensive back Daniel Blaylock and sophomore linebacker Sion Fotu. Lucerne Valley defensive back Michael Salbino. Matthias Neos from Sage Oak. Patriots first year coach Bernie Lara is Agape League Coach of the Year. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. Spectacular crashes provide thrilling highlights of 2018 racing at Wheel to Wheel Raceway in Victorville. In fact, the very first Pro 500 heat race of the season initiates the new year with one of the Victorville Oval's most unforgettable collisions ever. This spectacular crash kicks off Pro 500 racing opening night at Wheel to Wheel Raceway. Will Brown's white 84 swerves in turn three, sending Bobby Taylor and his 766 Airborne in the very first lap of the very first Pro 500 heat race. Bobby Taylor's 766 is totaled. Both drivers walk away shaken but not seriously injured. Will Brown, the teenager out of Glendora, at 14, he is the youngest driver in the Pro 500 class this season. Wheel to wheel race fans gasp and hold their breath as trackmaster John Aiden goes airborne in the Pro 500 main at the Firecracker Derby. John Estes in his Orange 18X gets smacked by Randy Ushens, aptly nicknamed Crash Ushens. Wheel to Wheel's annual Race for the Rack raises over $5,000 for the American Cancer Society. One highlight of the Race for the Rack event, the return of cancer survivor Rick Beeson. Hey, we're just going to come out here and run a few laps. Uh, the doctor said I couldn't race, so I came out and we're going to race tonight. You're a survivor, Rick. What does it mean to you to see the efforts and the donations and the generosity of people supporting cancer research? You know, Will the Will and Chris and John have been such a blessing to me and my family. Uh, they let an old man like me come out and race with the youngsters. And uh, again, it's, it's literally a miracle that I'm even alive. So I just always try to take it all the way to the end. Three season championships are coming down to the final race of the season. Intermediates, dirt carts, seniors, and Pro 500 Speedway Sprints. I need a good, you know, point. I'd like to get on the podium, mainly. Okay. You know, mainly do that. Uh, that's my main goal. If I stay within there, I think the next few races, maybe um, and keep, keep that up and, you know, hopefully stay on top. If chased by a bear, you don't have to outrun the bear, only others in your group. Pro 500 driver John Alonzo modifies that adage to just having to outrun all but one in the group to win the 2018 Wheel to Wheel Track Championship. John Alonzo needs to finish second in the season finale main to remain ahead of John Aiden in season points. And that is exactly what the race in Chimney Sweep from Orange accomplishes in winning the points race. John Alonzo's track championship won of four class titles decided on the final night of 2018 racing.
Ricky Simpson applies a somewhat similar scenario in winning the Intermediates Track Championship. Ricky Simpson, Silver 29, enters the finals in a neck-and-neck -neck battle with Braden Struder and Sean Rogers. The 10-year-old defending Intermediates Track Champion makes it back-to-back -back titles, edging Braden Struder, Mud Splattered 10, by one point by virtue of his second place finish in the finals main. The senior dirt cart title, another wheel-to-wheel -wheel class on the line in the championship finals. Season points leader Ryan Bond builds an early lead and outlasts Daisy Blaylock to win the track title by four points. In the restrictor plate class, Justin Taylor, 766, wins the 2018 track championship. Justin Taylor is the just-turned 20-year-old son of Pro 500 racer Bobby Taylor. Cash Culp, the only 2018 track champion entering the finals with a lock on the championship, is the junior dirt cards champion. Ten-year-old Cash Culp finishes with 106 season points in winning the Dirt Carts Junior Class title. Finalists for the 2018 Rick Gabrielson Memorial Athletes of the Year scholarships include two of the High Desert's all-time best football players who set career records at their respective schools, Cross Valley Gridiron rivals from Silverado and Apple Valley. Silverado's Levi Taylor is the Hawks' all-time passing and total offense record holder and Silverado Senior Athlete of the Year, the two-time All-CIF quarterback holds every Hawks passing and total yardage record. Highest character, leadership, and academic excellence are criteria for Athlete of the Year recipients. Levi Taylor sports a 324 GPA. Levi Taylor accepted a full four-year scholarship to quarterback Mid-America Nazarene University in Kansas. A major Levi Taylor adversary and nemesis from Apple Valley, free safety Seth Baker is the Sun Devils. Athlete of the Year and Gabrielson Scholarship nominee, Seth Baker led Sun Devils teams in beating Silverado in 2016 and 2017. Seth Baker broke single game, single season, and career tackles records, spearheaded the Sun Devils' first undefeated team in school history, emerged Apple Valley's all-time tackles leader, and the school's first CIF Player of the Year. Three times all Mojave River League safety, and twice all CIF, Seth Baker plays next at Augustana College in South Dakota. Oak Hills Senior Athlete of the Year Justin Montijo, 5, is an all Mojave River League defensive back and pass receiver and Mojave River League pole vault champion. Justin Montijo captained both the Bulldogs football and track and field teams. He carries a 3.5 GPA to George Fox University in Newburgh, Oregon. Baseball adversaries and standout pitchers Ramon Alcantar of Victor Valley and Carson Phillips of Serrano are their school's Gabrielson Scholarship nominees. Ramon Alcantar Avila helped lead the Victor Valley Jackrabbits into the quarterfinals, then registering the victory in the second round triumph over Montebello. Serrano, Gabrielson Scholarship nominee, Carson Phillips is a two-time All-Mojave River League pitcher who posted an MRL best .93 earned run average his senior year. Hesperia Christian, Senior Athlete of the Year, Quentin Wilson is a three-sport standout, Agape League Player of the Year and All-CIF in football, three times All-League in basketball, and captain of the Patriots football, basketball, and golf teams. Apple Valley Christian Senior Athlete of the Year Grant Lyles is a four-time first-team all-league baseball standout who was also basketball and volleyball most valuable player. He captained the Warriors baseball, basketball, and volleyball teams. Female Senior Athletes of the Year and Gabrielson Scholarship nominees include Taylor Deteen, Oak Hill's all-star softball pitcher. Taylor Deteen, twice Mojave River League Player of the Year, 
Her 1.61 earned run average, best in the MRL this season. She pitched the Lady Bulldogs into this year's CIF quarterfinals, shutting out Kaiser and beating Godinez in postseason play. Taylor Deteen is Oak Hill's ASB president, sports a 3.6 GPA, and will pitch next at San Jose State. Eight of the female athletes of the year are volleyball standouts, Apple Valley's Alexandria Parisium is the Lady Sun Devils Senior Athlete of the Year and Gabrielson Scholarship nominee, a four-year starter and three-year All-Mojave River League selection. Alex Parisian carries a 3.76 GPA and has accepted a scholarship to play volleyball at the University of Hawaii. Hesperia Christian's J.C. Vick is an all-league performer in three sports, softball and volleyball, in addition to all-CIF in basketball. J.C. Vick averaged 16 points a game her senior season. USC-bound Sherman Shepard, University Prep basketball star and scholar-athlete. AAE's ASB president and three-sports scholar-athlete Kelsey Bryant and Apple Valley Sun Devils football superstar Seth Baker received their $1,500 Gabrielson Senior Athlete of the Year scholarships. Sherman Shepard will apply his $1,500 Gabrielson scholarship toward attending Southern Cal. He will take classes in mechanical engineering and plans to earn a degree in business management at USC. I have a soccer scholarship at Vanguard University and I plan to study kinesiology to um, go into physical therapy and be a physical therapist. It feels awesome, especially coming from the Gabrielson family. I have a lot of, a lot of respect and much love for them. For area baseball fans, one of the biggest highlights of the year past was seeing this local player pitch for the High Desert Yardbirds and emerge a Pecos League All-Star. Former Oak Hills High School and Victor Valley College Rams pitcher Adolfo Espinoza won his first three starts, becoming the first Yardbirds pitcher to win three games. This is Adolfo Espinoza's 10th start of 2018, July 14th against the California City Whip Tails. After 10 starts, Adolfo Espinosa's earned run average is 2.74, second lowest ERA among all Pecos League starting pitchers. Adolfo Espinosa was the starting pitcher in the Pecos League All-Star Game, pitching a scoreless first inning. Adolfo Espinosa was an all-conference pitcher at Victor Valley College after his highly heralded career at Oak Hills High School. Adolfo Espinosa went 11-1 and on the mound his senior season with a 223 ERA, was named Mojave River League Most Valuable Player, CIF Division V Player of the Year, and All-State. There you go. The Victor Valley College Rams have eight players receive all-league recognition, including a pair of freshman pitchers, Ty Tracy and Ryan Peck, named first team All-Western State Conference. Ryan Peck, the extremely versatile southpaw out of Sultana, is first team at appropriately utility player, a unanimous selection by conference coaches, in fact, Ryan Peck proved his versatility playing all nine defensive positions. In the Rams' final home game, he pitched the ninth inning, giving him 32 strikeouts in 59 innings pitched. Was there a position that you enjoy playing most other than being pitcher? Yeah, shortstop. All right. You're born to be an infielder. Yeah, always. I used right. to play shortstop in high school. At the plate, Ryan Peck led the 2019 Rams in hitting, batting 349. Ty Tracy is first team all-conference starting pitcher. The first year Ram out of Oak Hills finished third in the league in strikeouts, 58 in 66 innings. His five victories tie him for third in the league in wins. His league high two complete games included a season ending victory at first place Glendale. Johnny Castaneda wins the stolen bases title with 27 in his freshman season. Out of Desert Pines and Las Vegas, Johnny Castaneda wins the conference Golden Glove. 
among right fielders, having not committed an error in conference play at that position. He is shown here hitting his third home run of the year. It comes against first place Glendale in VVC's final home game. Did you and Ty go to the same dancing school because you guys had that same hop, skip, and a jump, you when you lead off, and Ty when he comes off and inning? Is, uh, did you, are you guys preparing for dancing with stars or what? No, nah, it's just, I mean, <laughs> it's like a thing we do every time. Yeah. He does it every time he pitches, do it every time I come with the bat. Congratulations on this win today. Keep it going this Thank week. Thanks, sir. Brandon Rodriguez is named second team designated hitter. The first year Ram out of Riverside's Hillcrest B-Rod led all WSC designated hitters with a 328 batting average in conference games. Angel Cano, one of two freshmen slick fielding middle infielders, is second team all conference at second base. A number of impressive second opinions on Angel Cano, who not only solidified BBC's infield up the middle, he was one of the Rams' consistent run producers in Coach Irvin Bounds' lineup, was second on the team in stolen bases, and was among the league leaders in doubles. Angel Cano is from Calexico. Fellow first-year middle infielder Sergio Rojas is named to the all-conference team, receiving honorable mention. Sergio Rojas yes, played third as well as second and oh, shortstop. Yeah. He hit 302, tied for the team lead in triples, was among Rams leaders in extra base hits and stolen bases. Sergio Rojas is from Sonora, Mexico. All six of the Rams thus far mentioned are First year players for Coach Irvin Bounds. Honorable mention recognition is extended to a pair of Rams sophomores. Mark Cobian receives honorable mention for his sophomore season performance, which included an eight game hitting streak at one point in conference play. Rams 2019 team captain, catcher Manny Sierra, is recognized as all conference. A second year, Manny Sierra emerged a gifted handler of pitchers and a role model for all his teammates for his work ethic and appetite for learning more and more about the intricacies of the game on a never-ending basis. Manny Sierra was a team leader in doubles and put up impressive power numbers and run production while compiling a 294 batting average. He is bound for Colorado State University in Pueblo. The success story of Angel Trejo is a shining example of what Victor Valley College Rams baseball is really all about in many respects. Angel Trejo not only excelled on the mound, he carries the highest grade point average among Rams players. Angel Trejo did not pitch in high school. Given a chance at VVC, here's what he says led to his success. Um, just trusting myself, you know, uh working on myself, pitching better, uh, my mentality, just getting that stronger, you know, blocking everything out, having a clear mind up there. You know, not trying to do too much. And uh, not, pinch not pitching for myself, but for the guys uh, behind me. You know, a lot of people doubted me, but here I am pitching college, you know, proving everybody that doubted me wrong. The sophomore from San Bernardino overcame hardships to close out his Rams career by striking out eight Glendale hitters in his final appearance. His 88 mile per hour fastball and deceptive breaking pitch combine with his unmatched work ethic to offer a most promising future on the next level. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwan Zak Law Firm. 
trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events.